Bandits. So, what are we doing? If I, I had uh, known that I was going to come back here, then I would have just, uh, you know, come here later, but whatever. Mm, I kind of want to go back down here, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, wait, can I? No. Wait, yeah? No, not while I'm here. Is it locked in place? Well, I'm surely there's a way to... those were driven into it. back this way? I'm remembering in the old Riven, this pipe was up in the air and you could only drop out of it. You couldn't, uh... Hey, look, I found a hole. It's the first one I found in this game.
Is this shut off? it, but I am curious if this has like a zip mode. Huh. Surprisingly, not that many polygons right there. Textures really do a lot of the heavy lifting. Textures and mapping and stuff. far uh, away from the water those heat rings um, are continued out for because uh, basically I am guessing it has to be a decent depth to just kind of ward off um, water from leaking past J you know just in case Anyway, um, yeah, so let's see. We have identified the numbers for, I guess, all but one of the totem thingies. I'm not sure if... Um, Oh, no, we, d we don't... Right. We found five of them. We only know what the animal is for two of them. But actually, we do know one of them is a frog. So I think the uh, one by the tree... The, uh, the tree that the seeds come from, I think is... I don't think I actually want to go this way. Maybe I do. Um, anyway, that one we know to be the frog, I think, just based on what we saw from up above. I would like to find out if the... All the water that I drained... I've been getting a lot of, like... 
not the best frame rate. Um, would like to see what the water has done. I, don't, I still don't really want to lower the graphics, so. I mean, I never considered that I might need to lower them, but anyway. So, like, this is right there. I, I think it's fair to say that the the shape of the frog that we saw is part of this. Or I guess it would be the charm. Uh, so, um, wait a minute, which one was this? This is the one that's number three. So, number three is a frog. Or a neat tram. Seems like all the animals are the same as from the first game. Yeah, I don't know that anything changed because I sent more water down here. But I don't know. Yeah, see, I was... The reason I was confused before was because I thought that these were the flowers. Well, I mean, I guess they... Wait. Hold on. Okay, I'm actually not sure how this works. Because it doesn't look the same as what we see in other locations. Because it looked like there were, like, these... red pod leaves. That's not what color these are, so I, I guess I am a little confused, actually. Hmm. You know what? I wonder... I thought that more of those were open before when I was up there watering it. I could be totally confused. So, that's like the same number that we saw when we were down there. And then, I might be completely crazy. I'm not sure this is a symbol. Now that I see the frog again, it does not look like a tram. And well, maybe it is supposed to be one, but... It's just me or... That tree. Okay, so... I'll look at it again. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see? I wasn't crazy. Maybe, I don't know if there's a way to jam it down, but, oh, interesting. I'll give this one last four, and then I'll run down there to see if there's something, I don't know, different that would be of interest.
Uh, we didn't need to go all that way here. Whoops. These are open and all, but uh, what did this even do? I mean, I, I mean, I see what it did, but oh, that's, uh, oh wow, that disc is very visible. I think it's a little overfilled. So overfilled that I can see underneath it. <laughs> anyway, um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to. do with this might not be any point to it I don't know It's a bit repetitive that the centers are always here. It's almost like they're getting used to me. They're always laying the exact same way. I could see if I can actually get a view of this from the... the tram, but... Or Maglev, but I uh, I don't I don't know that that would even really help me. It's kind of interesting that. I still don't know how to make a, make anything out of this. Wait. Hold on, maybe I'm just not viewing it from the right angle. And it's been here the whole time, I just... It's really big, it's like I need to get in the water somehow. Like the other, like the one that I got a good view on, like. Hmm. It 
Is it the beetle? I still can't get a good angle on this, but you know, it's... There's gotta be somewhere else I can go with this. I just don't know. It refills very quickly. Oh, you know what? You see these traps. I mean, does that mean that this is associated with the froggy? I don't think this is doing anything. It does not change this. <laughs> At least we don't think it does. Yeah, there's there's probably a good amount of stuff I have not figured out yet. before how much I can interact with the world. While um, holding this up. This is a little weird. cutscenes. And sure, I'll just keep holding this up. Why not? Oh. The door is still open. I don't know if there will be one or not. By the way, we, when we saw Gan's uh, scribe, I do remember that in the original game. It's not a... It, I think it was kind of a hard cutscene, if you could call it that, to get. Um, anyway. Pull it out ahead of time. This is kind of ridiculous, though. If this is the way that I have to get a good viewing on it, it's just kind of awkward clicking through it and all. <laughs> I wonder if there's something to like the type of rock that is on the inside of this.
Well, I'm actually glad. It would be ridiculous if that was how I get to see the thing. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just me coming here and I'm like, oh, okay, I see the fish. But I'm pretty sure. So how is my view blocked? I was pretty sure I wasn't able to see it from there, but... It almost looks like I should have been able to see it for a split moment. But... I don't know. Anyway, it's not that hard to tell that this is a fish. Um, it really does look like part of it's cut off. Like, I really was supposed to see it from... Oh, hey, wait a minute. You know what? I wonder if that's supposed to be viewed from the survey island. Ah, it's so laggy. I could just turn it down, but I don't want to make it look worse. Could be that it's not all white stuff that I should be looking for, and that you know there are other clues as to like I don't know, maybe this is the spot of the moths <laughs> or whatever. this thing. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Oh, this is that one, which we've already seen. That's the center. Which I guess... If we wanted to see it again, we could go over there, but that's what it is.
find up here but sometimes you just gotta revisit places to see, find things you've missed. I don't know. I look kind of silly running around with this in my hand. Wait what? Oh no way! Oh! Interesting! They painted on that. I wonder if that's on all of them or just the one that's on this island, because, you know, we would expect that. them opening this up would not be such a surprise. But they might not have gotten to the others. Ah, there's nothing this way. We have stones surrounding this. Not exactly like in the cave, though. did find something new, so... some of that to when building this. Like, I mean like 3D models and stuff.
didn't notice the sides of the chair folding up before. I mean, that doesn't surprise me so much when it doesn't let me look around while I'm sitting here. something here. Where was the... Oh, it was downstairs, wasn't it? Or... Like... Wait, oh, there's the button. Yeah, I'm supposed to go down. I tried to walk forward and then I like walked forward very quickly <laughs> because it was not me doing the walking. only there when I'm not. literally all I wanted to do here. This is what I was trying to figure out. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Huh. It's... These are like actually videos now. Is it easier to make them be videos?
It's almost like a weird kata. Yeah. Because of the way these are pieced together, I think they're just videos. PIK format, maybe. It's weird when it just like jumps and they're like having the video start with them in the middle of the room is weird. there's like a secret code. Like a special thing. Not exactly a donut. This be a donut, kind of. Every single one of them. 
which is kind of weird. But I guess, I don't know. I just assumed that the way that I would know. I guess they gave multiple ways of figuring out, but it's not like you can't just spam the button, like I said. So. But, I mean, I guess if you pushed it a couple of times and said, oh, this does nothing. leave them all up. That's really weird, it like... Sometimes jumps me over to this one. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that this was a little... slider puzzle. I guess we'll leave it alone. What is this? It's kind of funny. Uh, well, you know what? There is something else we can do. the long way or I just sink things. Definitely seems like it was a very long path that it took to get here. Alright. So let's see. We need to go to Purple Island. Which is somewhere. Okay.
explain much in detail how these things work in the journal. satisfying to not do things right the first time. I think I... That was not what I was supposed to do. find our way to the blue island now. I thought that the, the part of me knew that that wasn't quite right. Okay, it's not that one. That's the jungle, isn't it? Yeah, it's the red island. Okay. That's where we need to go. Alright. Interesting iteration on that motif. Hmm. Looks like not only Looks like it really fell apart, sunk down and everything. So I thought there was something out in the distance, but it's actually just like dried stuff on my screen. <laughs> ah, well we found the other one of these. 
That's some amount of progress. I think we already know what number it's going to be. This is the number that we don't have yet, which is number 5. But anyway. Is that it? I did I kind of didn't look. I was like Yeah, okay. And yeah, that's number 5. So um let's see. What do we have around here? Is there any... Not here anyway. Imagine if Catherine is not even trapped, so like can come and go as she pleases. I don't mean like from Riven, I just mean like she's not actually trapped on Prison Island. She knows exactly how to get from, get out and, you know, whatever. It's interesting that I took the side path immediately. The side path has way more to it than I thought it would. That looks very funny. It's kind of a large piece of equipment for five little legs, or I think that's probably five. even painted on this one yep I I don't know what to make of that it's it suggests that the moiety know their way around everything Probably the Moiti or the Sue we're talking about, not the Rivenese necessarily. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> you made it. But how did you get past Gen? I know what he's doing. He's watching you. He's waiting for you to make a mistake. You can't let Gen get back to Dunny. Find the Moiti. They have the book. Be careful.
anything on this. Wait. Oh. What's this? Interesting. Right. Okay. So fish is number five. Hmm. I'm under the impression that all of these are going to be done in paint. Something I like about this better than the old version is that you meet Catherine off on the side in sort of a you know spot that's out of view. So Catherine isn't seen like on camera talking to someone. Um, but I mean, I don't know the likelihood of anyone even being there to see. Anyway, I want to look at the bottom of this. Yeah, those are barnacles, mini barnacles. It's like as long as it gets enough water, the barnacles can grow. Barnacles are animals. I don't know much about them. But oh, this looks very familiar. Same sounds, I believe. You know what? Nah, it'd be like... I'm not gonna try brute forcing it. As fun as it might be to do so. Oh, okay. I see. This motif this way kind of makes it be associated with Catherine. Which I don't know that that was the case before. You know? Oh, I see. Yeah, there is like a pressure plate there. It even shows it sinking down. said that thing back there was familiar, I just meant because it's the same as the old game. Not that we've seen it before in this game. Not yet, but I think I have a pretty good sense of where we will see it again. Or hear it, rather. Um... Okay. 
We found all of them, but we haven't found or figured out. Hmm. Hmm. I will go back to the red place. Just, uh, don't really know. something funny um, well I don't know if I should say it these the same as so these can all be lights if they're just opened up I guess funny to call this a 3D version or a 3D remake of the game because the original version was 3D too, it's just it was a real-time 3D. Yeah, I don't know why I'm coming back here, I just want to. That's why. See, we get such a clear view of it. Oh, and it lights up. I forgot about that. It's like it light... 
I don't know what kind of mechanic is supposed to be making it light up. But, yeah. It's just a game mechanic. That's what's making it light up. So I wonder, you know, I forget how I saw the work number four. I don't even know where that was. Is this here in the original game? I don't have a clue what it is. You know, I th like. This isn't that many trees cut down, but I think the implication was much more deforestation. I don't know, maybe it, it just is what it looks like. It's, it's this many trees exactly. I mean, it already is a decent amount of deforestation considering how small this place really is. But, I don't know, I, I just think like the original vision for Riven is... Whoa red dot. Why is there a red dot? So the sun is there. What? I mean, I, I get that it's just Where's it coming from? It's, it's more spread out now. It's not as concentrated as it was. What? Oh wait, here we have a blue dot. Right there. red dot over here. Uh, I guess it's just a visual effect. Has that always been around? Like, no matter where I use this? It's much more concentrated now, though. Okay, I'm definitely looking... Ah. Yeah, see, I, I'm seeing the reflection of what's behind me. And I'm seeing a reflection of what seems to be a red light. Shining off of the dome? No. Hold on. Back here. Is that the dome? Where's the dome? So there's these plants here. Am I, am I breaking this game down more than is intended? Yeah. Yeah, most likely. Okay, so... We have those plants. Is that the gate right there? Yeah, so... 
we're looking right about here. And we're getting a red light coming from here. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I'm seeing, is it? Is it possible that that... Is that possible? Let's not forget I also have a blue light. When I look... Where was it? Where was the blue light? Blue light's here. <laughs> so what that means... Well, that makes no sense at all. What does it do to the light? Hmm. Wait. We can still see the red light down here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, I actually was seeing that. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, so I don't see the red light until I'm up here. Wow, it's, it's really like I'm looking at that. Let's do a 180. Where is it? Okay, I lost it. I don't see the light now. Where is it at? Okay, there it is. Okay, but now I'm looking way down here. It's a totally different angle. Ah, uh, whatever. It's just visual effects. I'm... <laughs> anyway. Hmm. You know, maybe I was onto something before. So that does look like something. I am seeing something. That's so. There's like the eye. Oh, yeah, so there's the feet. This is the Y trim. Or whatever it is. I think it's the Y trim symbol. That is what we're looking at. They put something on the ground to attract them. That's my explanation anyway. Okay, I'm gonna cross out Y trim above that. I'm gonna write like frog question mark. Next to that. But uh this one is number two, right? Okay. Number two is the Y trim. Or at least that's what I think that symbol is. The symbol I think is the Y trim is number two. Good way to put it. Oh. Oh, hey. Now it lights up. When I stand right here, specifically. Okay. Well, good to know. Nah, the red light wasn't related to that, was it? This is still a mystery. You know, it'd be a little silly know how it's spelled, I mean pronounced. Hey. Didn't I leave that steaming? Anyway.
this was... What even was this? No, it's nothing. Oh, that's where the work was. Right, I remember now. The symbol of the work, I mean, not the... see if we can bug them again. Well, let's save the game first. Just because this was where I got it to crash before, we don't really know like precisely what causes it, so just be careful. Oh man, I've ruined this person's trust. For the rest of their life, they'll never answer the door. For fear that it might be someone as hideous as me. Alright. Keep doing this as a way to hydrate the tree. Yeah, see, I think maybe I was supposed to stop earlier. Instead, I just kept filling it, and the water level actually keeps rising. I wonder how long I can Oh my gosh. <laughs> Watch if this is like what you're actually supposed to do. You're just supposed to raise it up to that the, the height of the uh, handrail. Oh. No, it's still rising. Holy cow. <laughs> I think I found one of the most interesting bugs in the game. Imagine if I got an achievement for it. If I, like, raise it to the top of a tree. It's an impossible amount of fodder stored in this thing. I'm drowning the tree.
you know, it's it's probably great to document this now because these are things that might get patched. And then people will never know. I don't know, unless there's some way to get an older version of the game. To, like, revert to previous release. But this isn't Minecraft. Could simply back up the files of the game, but who does that? Sorry, I don't know any good jokes. Actually, I know that I know some decent jokes. The problem is that um, I can never really think of them when it comes time. There are some jokes I've made up. They're pretty bad. I won't tell the sarcastic joke about sarcasm. It's a little bit confusing. It's just a meditation moment, I guess. There's no limit, right? Like, you can keep going and going and going. I wonder if, like, I, I I bet, like, it would take a long time, but we could probably get that disc to fly so high that, um, like, I don't even think it would crash, like, not until we got super, 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 super high to the point where we're getting, like, an integer or, like, I don't know, value overflow, but, um... I think I'll just let it get to the top of the tree. Maybe just above the top. I imagine that it doesn't have a, an appearance from underneath. It feels like it's not moving. Why would it stop there though? It's like if there wasn't a mechanism to stop it before, it's not gonna stop now. Oh I think it has gone higher. We wouldn't even notice it at this point, like if you just came here. I 
we're not just flooding the tree. I mean, if we could actually raise a water level to this point, that would be like the entire island getting flooded. Of course, that would be, like, very confusing physics. As, you know, no matter how high it was, like... You know, once we passed the overflow point, it just continued to fill at the same rate, which, you know, would be impossible because we'd be having to fill the entire ocean. And, you know, that's... It's a lot. Definitely the kind of thing you do on your very first playthrough. Flood the tree. Could be waiting for more dialogue. This is dialogue. Sort of. Now, yeah, it's monologue, actually. I should take a screenshot. You know, I just came to appreciate what a nice touch it is that this rock rotates and sways in the wind. Because they totally didn't have to do that. still see a little bit of stuff poking up through it. And... I think it's gone now. It's completely above the tree. But we haven't stopped. Oh no. We have not stopped. I don't even know if it goes down unless you've, like, left the area.
Was this supposed to be a mini game? Just created an idler. Oh boy. So now it's like I'm, I'm just not sure when. I want to stop, like, I just keep going. This may be a problem. Because now it's like I, I almost don't want to give up. But it's completely pointless. And I said it myself, it's probably just going to keep going and going and going. And, like, it'll be out of sight. And I'll still be going. You know, I could do that. And, um... And, and it'd be pointless. Is that the no new goal to go until it's out of sight? It's not fast, this is a slow process. Meditation over. Is it, is it lowering? back. No. 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 Could knock on that person's door again for good luck. Why did I come all the way down here? I did that again. Now, does it have a bottom that we can see through? Or, sorry, we will be able to see through it. What we won't be able to see is anything. Because it's out of sight looks identical to how it was before, because, you know, the flowers better be really white. Uh, okay, so, is it going to look like something from the distance? I mean, it'd be fun. Oh, sure enough. Okay. There we go, now it highlights right there. Okay, so this is the beetle. Uh, which one was? Number three was beetle. Okay. Well, that really leaves just one. The one that I can't understand the one that's in the cave.
What was I doing wrong? Is there some way to view it from behind? You know, somewhere I haven't been yet? I don't know. I could just look for the um, the highlighting and all that. Wait for it to light up. Wait. No? Wait, what? Huh? It's not it completely lit up, but it's got light. Well, it's the same way it looks if I stare at the sun through it. Well, not exactly, but kind of. It's a different color. Hmm. Oh wait, is that why it's lighting up? Just because I'm here? I don't know. I need to pause for a moment here. I just uh, turned off the lights of the room, among other things. It was a much longer <laughs> moment, but anyway. Um, which means I can dim the screen, but I probably shouldn't do that because Dimming it for me also means dimming the screen for you. So, I didn't consider just looking down into the water. <gasps> oh! Of course. It's so simple. Unfortunately, we can't lower the water level infinitely like we could with raising it. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a work. Or something. Those they did not last long. Let me get another look at that. Maybe I'll hit X for a screenshot. Oh. I forgot that I could do this together at the same time. It would give me much more time to look at it. Um, yeah. Okay. And that was, well, I mean, it's the only one that's left. Oh, shoot, I turned off the lights, and now I can't see my paper. But, uh, that was, wait, okay, you're right, it's number six. So, a little confused, because I thought the other one was a work. So... Maybe need to go back and um, have another look at that. But I was just thinking um, that one with the beetle and the trees. I think. Um, oh man, the screen is so bright now. Why did I do this? <laughs> but anyway, um, the one in the trees, I think that they literally just, like, you know, thinking logically, I, I think that they actually trimmed the tree to look that way. All right, well, it feels like we've solved basically all the mysteries here. So I guess after a certain amount of time, that sort of just opens up again. Like, due to pressure or weird stuff. Uh, like, maybe over time, or maybe, like, due to random chance, it just, like, gets redirected just enough 
you know, the pressure makes its way chaos-like. And just, just, just enough of a gush of air. Or yeah, maybe it's like not totally consistent. And so sometimes there's just enough of a gush of air to, to push it back open. Or whatever. I was literally just asking myself how it was that it was still lit up when the uh, sub was not there, but then I remembered that we have a lever that keeps it on. My head actually really hurts, by the way. I've had a headache all day. Didn't get enough sleep or something. I also got kind of dehydrated, so. Something like that. It's kind of a dual pain right now. Okay. I don't remember exactly where it was. Right, so I see. So this, these light up when I'm near. When I'm looking at these, it lights up. I didn't even notice that before. But then this. How did this work? Okay, what? It looks the same. So am I missing something? Is this one also work? Or are there two different works? Nah, what am I... Oh, this is just telling me that that up there triggers... It. Okay, hold up. So then... What is the... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. You know, a little unexpected. So it's like the leaf beetle thingy. I'll just call it a leaf mimic. Um, right there, so number four. I'll cross that out. Leaf mimic. All right. Well, we have them all. I'm not sure this was better than the simple um, rolling eyes that we had in the old game. I, I, didn't, I mean, it's not that I didn't have fun with this, but it just seems a little weird. I mean, I guess the old one's weird too if you think about it, but... like the only way now. Just gotta go this way because it just, well it's just faster usually. Okay. 
So, we have first is the Sunners. Where are they at? These guys. And then the e tram. This guy. And then Beetle. It's not that thing. This. And then we have our Leaf Mimic. Which I hope I remembered what that looked like properly enough. I don't actually know what that thing is. Um, and the fish, this vertical fish thing, and the work. Of course the work is the last one. I think that that animal is very special to them. It's also up front and center. Exactly like the old game. The sunlight. Well, this is like made of the same material. Interesting. Expanding on small bits of lore. Is that? There we go. So while Gan uses all these expensive fire marbles, here are the Rivenese just using rocks. Crystals. Well, who knows how expensive they are, though. I don't know. I can't remember if there were birds here before. It feels very peaceful. literally the first time we've heard that language. I'm 
must be tied up. Or something. We're just paralyzed. Now I went out. <laughs> My footsteps are a little delayed. I don't know, whatever. It's just kind of because, like, whatever. I don't know. So I just picked them up, put them in my inventory. Let's see here. So here's Atris's journal, which we already had. I write quickly from my prison. <laughs> Along with this journal, I've instructed Nela to return the book that the Moiti intercepted upon your arrival. After questioning her, I've concluded that it was written by Atris for a very specific purpose. Gen will wish to use it, though he will undoubtedly be suspicious. Once he is out of the way, you'll still need the combination to release me. I'm told the key. I'm told he keeps it somewhere in his out outpost outpost on 233. Then I assume we're to signal Atris. I think I know how it might be done, but don't attempt it before I am released. Catherine. It's been one week since I linked to Riven, and I'm still reeling from the changes. I've witnessed, I've witnessed, even before my eyes could stay, could adjust. Yeah, okay. Uh, the smell of my homeland embraced me. The sweet salt air was instantly familiar, but the scene that soon resolved was not. As I stood there struggling to make sense of what I was seeing, a violent change uh, clang sounded, and bars appeared before me. It was then that I must have been darted, for my memory after is cloudy. A Rivenese man, shabbily dressed in militaristic attire, was shouting something at me. He seemed to be attempting to speak Dunny, but his grasp of the language was so poor that I could not make out his words. And then the world went dark. Many voices passed, uh, until at last I woke to a familiar face. Eddie! After all this time, she's still as warm and kind as ever, and yet the years have clearly wounded her, as they've wounded everyone whose world uh, became a prison when Gan was trapped here. Everything is tinged with pain and loss, even Eddie's bright smile, 
though she does her best to hide it. A, dis a desperate urgency squelched by um, un unuttered fears seethes beneath her cordial veneer. When Atris and I left Gan here all those years ago, I was haunted by visions of what had become of my people and how they might have come to suffer under his rule. But the injustices I imagined were nothing compared to the atrocities that have actually come to pass. The flowing is a chronicle of what I have learned, a record of all that has happened, should I no longer be here to tell it. The Moiety it seems the confrontation that led to Gan's entrapment on Riven was witnessed by some of the Rivenese, but their interpretation of the event was skewed, no doubt due to Gan's overinflated view of himself. Atris and I had hoped that stripping him of his ability to think, uh, to link to other worlds, might lead people to conclude that his claims of godhood were false, but it appears the opposite has come to pass. If Gan was a god and we had vanquished him, then we might be greater gods. It was thus assumed that my absence was only temporary and that I would surely return one day to set the world right again. Thus the moiety, the name they adopted after Gan's dis disparaging use of the term, were born sworn enemies of Gan and devotees of me. I had no inkling of this misconception about myself until two days ago, though in hindsight it makes perfect sense given the way I've been treated for their part. They naturally assumed an omniscient deity might be well aware of their own divine status, so there was no need to inform me. I only finally pieced it together during a recent underground gathering where they reenacted their version of the story of my life, a riveting tale that culminated with the confrontation between my Atris, myself, and Gan at the edge of the fissure. The events had been exaggerated to such grandois proportions that I found it hard to, at times to suppress my laughter, and yet this myth has also given them the courage to stand against Gan, and the hope that they might someday be delivered from the relentless inhumanities of his authoritarian rule. Even so, the fact that I am the one who has been cast as their savior, an omnipotent being who would one day return to Riven, overthrow Gan, and lead them to a new paradise, is deeply unsettling. I would uh, do anything to free my people from this hellish existence, but I am not who they think I am. How, though, can I dissuade them from this motion, notion without also crushing their hopes? As Gan's power grew, so did the moiety, and in order to evade his uh, persecution, for he would wipe them all out in an instant if he could, they had to become more and more adept at concealing themselves. They make use of a network of caves that so far he has failed to discover, but I fear it's only a matter of time before they've, they're found out. Secret passage to the rebel linking room. Three Bolu must be lit. Further jeopardizing their existence is the f fact that the moiety absolutely refuse to sever their ties with those who have sided with Gan. The two factions thus live together in a surprising harmony. Their overarching sense of cultural unity uh, appearing to outweigh the schism, at least for now.
I heard today that a father and uh, an aunt were introduced, uh, inducted into Yan's labor force. I so longed to see them, but a dimness shrouded Eddie's face so abruptly when I attacked, <laughs> when I asked of them that it left me hesitant to press the matter further. I must know the truth eventually, but I fear the news will not be good. From the moment of their inception, the moiety have sought to disrupt Gan's plans at every turn, sabotaging his construction, s stealing from his precious stockpiles, and keeping an ever-watchful eye on his every move. They shroud themselves with dark coverings and delight in the fact that their enemies are often frightened by their wrath-like appearance, wraith-like appearance, and their almost uh, preter natural ability to wreak havoc without detection on consequence or consequence. It was in the course of one of these forays that I was fortuitously rescued when I first linked to Riven. I shudder to think what might have become of me that had that scout not been there to intervene. Gan will certainly be hunting for me now, no doubt furious at his guard's failure to detain me. He must be even angrier, though at the loss of the linking book he surely assumes I brought with me. That I was deceived into linking into Riven without a way back is a bitter yet fortunate fact. That I was deceived into linking into Riven without a way back. For it may well have meant the death of us all had a path back to Dunny fallen into his destructive hands. When he finally discovers that I came here empty-handed, he'll be angrier still. Uh, that is some consolation, at least. I have glimpsed the final breath of a dying age. A tiny blade cuts the void, the white hole divided, again and again, dipped in black, the rib nib drips red the art of genocide today i ventured above ground to see for myself what has become of the island i hoped it wouldn't be as bad as the moiety had reported it was worse having lived with it for so long the rivenies have become in inured to the steady decay around them, but I was devastated. As we wound our way through the underbrush, I found myself once again breathing in my youth, the ocean air transporting me back in a matter of seconds, but as my eyes again took hold of the warmth of those memories vanished, the warmth of those memories vanished, and I was left with nothing but numbness. We had reached a bluff, a bluff that had not been there the last time I visited my home. Riven, which was once was one island, was once isl one island, was split into five distinct pieces that have since drifted f apart at an astonishing rate. Four of these have been claimed by Gan as his exclusive domain. Only those who have sworn their loyalty to him are even allowed to ac access to them. From my vantage point at the edge of the trees, I could see three of them, now blighted with Gan's uh, monomaniacal constructions. These islands are closely guarded and pose great personal risk to the moiety, though that hasn't kept them from doing whatever they can to thwart Gan's endeavors there. The fourth island I could not see as it has crept away for to some distance and now lies concealed by fog. 
The moiety said that Gan originally governed from this small island, living and working in a protected space he built for himself atop the stump that remains where the great tree used to stand. The only surviving forest is located here on the largest island where the village also remains. This island was ostensibly intended to be the province of the people, but it too has been irrevocably marred by Gan's apparent uh, oppressive in intrusions. Gan cannot... A words fall. Brittle, known leaves, brown leaves, masquerading as green, should never have held lives both bloomed and as yet unneeded, unseated. I felt nothing today. I am an outcast among outcasts. The dis diaspora of a dying world, despite my repeated protest. Pro <laughs> protestations, the moiety continue to treat me differently, their desperate need precluding any dissuasion from the belief that I am some sort of messiah come to save them. They misconstrue my every move as a validation of their faith, whispering of how I walked the island bold and unafraid mistaking my outrage at the island's devastation for bravery. But I am afraid, for I know something that the moiety do not, the underlying reason for the island's accelerated decay. Gan wrote this world, and so it will fail, as all of Gan's ages it ultimately fell. I must make the moiety understand this, but I cannot talk to Eddie. There were brief moments soon after my arrival when my divine status was forgotten and I was simply Katran again, but they are almost non-existent now. There is one person, however, who seems immune to these fallacious notions, Nella. Her gaze, her gaze has never faltered whenever I've dared hint at the uncomfortable truth. I feel I could trust her to bear the full brunt of it. Gan is making books. How did I not know this until now? Atris and I knew he would likely attempt it as he has adopted the paranoid practice of writing all of the necessary materials into his ages. He's been exploiting the natural resources and the people of Riven as fodder for his mad pursuit of, to further his colonialist ideals. Um, this is a good explanation because I'm like thinking it's crazy that Riven has like a source to make fire marbles from and all that. Like, yeah, it's all written into the edge. Okay. Thankfully, it sounds as if he has not yet succeeded. As painful as it's been, the fact that I've returned to Riven at this crucial juncture is fortuitous. The age is crumbling, my people are suffering, and if Gan succeeds in securing his freedom, other worlds will suffer the same. The moiety are looking to me. I may only be mortal, but I have to do something. It's been a long time since my last entry. There is much to tell. It was hard to recognize, but I found the Starfisher. It is located on what Gan refers to as his Temple Island, though the Moiti refer to use, prefer to use the Rivenese word Alapo, which means water pool. They've thus taken to referring to the void itself as Ala. Turan, Pool of Stars. It is the very fissure that allowed Atris and me to escape the sage without leaving a linking book behind us, though it has since been sealed with a skin of heavy iron. Several derelict devices for, from the time 
that time remain mounted to its surface, including a hatch with a window viewport, a large telescope, and the mechanical lift that was used to install it, the combination to which was acquired by the moiety long ago. Uh, I will write this down. Um, so let's see, we have a 7, One, seven, four, ten, nine, three, six, nine. 10. I'm not sure if that is really helpful because I literally carried this book around with me, but anyway. In the early days, the Moiti briefly considered reopening the fissure. Thankfully, they decided against it. Had they attempted it back then, the results might well have been catastrophic. Were they to do so today, it would certainly mean the end of Riven. I am told that in the days immediately following uh, Gan's confinement on Riven, he attempted to determine the feasibility of navigating the stars beneath the fissure, for he had seen the mist book fall from Atris's hands into that very same space. To this end, he sacrificed several poor souls, alleged transgressors of the law, by throwing them into the hatch. I I really like the way this is um, handwritten. It's just, it adds so much to it rather than it just being a, a font um, because there's expression in every single letter. Um, and yeah, it's just cool. Um, so, he, he could observe their fate. It is said that they did not die, but what becomes of them remains a mystery. It is an interesting thing to think about. And that original fissure is no longer alone. New uh, ruptures have appeared in recent years at various locations around the islands. In some instances, the Moiti were able to glimpse the breaches before Gan and his minions moved in to contain them. Their descriptions support my suspicion that the forces that are tearing Riven apart are more than merely geological. More troubling, however, is that Gan is not simply containing these rifts, but is somehow using them to travel between the islands, and that he has also reportedly devised a way to harvest the energies from the expanse for some yet unknown purpose. How like him to wantonly exploit for his own selfish gain that which he does not understand. The star field beneath the fissure is not as it seems. It is a gentle space as hospitable to life as a flowing river. That is how Atris described it, his brief time within the expanse, before he linked out, leaving his mist book adrift within it. He was never able to conclude upon its nature, but I cannot help but feel that there must be some greater uh, pneuma behind it. Something I should have mentioned earlier, one of the colossal blades that appeared in the course of our escape from Riven, the great dagger that stands at one end of the fissure, has been adopted by the Moiti as the emblem of their struggle. They have their own explanation as to how it came to be, of course, but their choice is more apt than they know, as that dagger, along with other the other blades, was a manifestation of my rage at the desecration that Gan had already wrought upon my world. I haven't told the Moiti that I wrote it into the this age. 
as I fear that would only fuel their overestimation of me. But I can't deny it pleases me to have inadvertently provided them with such a fitting symbol for their cause. My limited encounter with Gan's followers have been discouraging. Whenever I've attempted to engage them, they've fled from me. I heard I am interesting oh, I heard an interesting tell from the Moiti last last night, which may help to explain this. Soon after we trapped Gan on Riven, he claimed that it was he who had been responsible for the Great Blades, summoning them as a preemptive, punitive reminder of the uh, obeisance uh, he expected uh, in the village circles. It is told that this act marked the beginning of a period of restitution, at the end of which, provided they had proven their devotion to him, they would be delivered unto a new and better existence. I will continue my attempts to intervene on their behalf. The cage has finally failed. Gan is free. My sources have confirmed that Gan has managed to create a functional linking book. In fact, he has done so before my arrival, but kept this accomplishment so well hidden that only his closest acolytes were aware of it. I'm keeping with his callous regard, in keeping with his callous regard for the worlds he creates, he has simply named it this, this age 233. It is not yet known whether he has written others. I have also just learned that years ago a moiety scout managed to steal a book that was an early failure that Gan had intended to destroy. It was largely complete, but did not work. I wasn't told about it until now because they thought it was useless. Gan struggled for decades but he could never get a conventional linking book to work. Then one day he began construction on a cumbersome mechanical solution, a complex array of devices designed to harness the energies of the starry expanse and then and use them to suppress his book's inherent flaws. The design phase was chaotic and often dangerous, the moiety tell of tremendous exploit, explorations, uh, explosions, as Gan sought to contain and wield forces that he knew little to nothing about. I was just thinking, I'm sorry, this is a bit off topic, but I was just thinking about the uh, fact that I'm kind of cheating because I already know how to read Dunny numbers, but um, up until this point in the game, we've only needed to be able to count to 10, um, but I was able to decipher, you know, the other Rivenny symbols up to 12, right? And that was with the aid of understanding the Dunny numbers. Um, knowing that, you know, Catherine writes out the number of his age, 233, um, and we have the that number written in Dunny from Gan's journal. And so we know what 233 looks like in Dunny, and we can start to piece things together. Um, and then it becomes easier to, from there, work backwards and start, you know, look at the other stuff we've already seen. And it's not the simplest process. It's, it's unfortunately, the process of deciphering it is, um, I've, it's it's a little bit uh, lost to me because I've already done it before, right? But um, I don't know. It's just an extra layer to it, and I I kind of underestimate just how difficult that actually is. So I talk about this being easier than the original game. It's not really easier. It's actually kind of harder. Like considering because before you really only did need to be able to count to ten, um, or 
yeah, basically to 10. You didn't even really need to do that. I'm trying to remember what you needed all the numbers for, but it's been a while. It's really been a while. Anyway, just, just thought. But he is nothing if not determined, and eventually he was able to use this enormous crutch to link to another age. I can't deny his brilliance, but it is an abominable solution, brutish and overwrought, and all but entirely unnecessary. I have studied the partially burned book that the moiety took from him. Mm. Although he sought retribution for the affront, he appears to have been otherwise untroubled by the theft, no doubt assuming the book would be useless in the moiety's hands. But I can see what they could not. The book may yet be salvageable. The age the book describes is wholly unsuitable as a home for the moiety, but I think it can be modified. I will dream. I have nearly finished writing the Moiti's Age. The world as described is harsher and more desolate than they are used to, but they should be able to sustain themselves there. But we'll need a second book. Gan has been appearing most of his time, spending most of his time on 233 lately. So the danger is less, but getting into his lab will still be difficult. In the coming collapse, of course, I'm just walking all over the place like it's nothing. Um, the collapse, the coming collapse, weighs, wait, collapse waits in the air. Yeah, it's interesting. It says waits instead of ways. Uh, blurring my vision both day and night. We must act soon. Success. We have secured a second book, though I worry now that Gan will miss it and deduce our plans before we're ready. The descriptive book I've prepared as a refuge for the rebels is useless unless I can find a way to connect, correct its inherent flaws. Gan's massive machine mainly functions to manipulate the energies within the expanse. It seems to serve its purpose, but its excess seems unwarranted. The Rivenes have long used crystalline sh substrates as an elegant means to manipulate light. If I could just find the right material. Last night's dreams have delivered me a perilous plan. I will write this substance into the new moiety age. If we could temporarily access Gan's apparatus, we could use our book to link to this new age and search for the crystal. Okay, so this was a much more difficult process than um, than I realized. So yes, um, probably a little bit of an expensive process. Um, and search for the crystal. Some would then have to carry Someone would then have to carry the book back to safety once the link was made. If it fell into Gan's hands, all would be lost. When Gan links to 233, one of his acolytes always remains to shut down the device. We'll have to get to him before he can do so, which means we'll only have one chance before they're alerted to our presence. Everything is ready. I have written the material into the new age and I have prepared the second linking book as a return to path to Riven. Of course, it too suffers the same deficiencies as all of Gan's books, so it won't work unless it's augmented. Once I'm in the new age, I'll have to locate the crystal and adapt it to heal the gateway image, which should render the book functional. 
I can then use the second linking book to return to Riven with more of this material. It's risky, but if all goes well, the Moiti and any others we can convince to join them will finally have an escape. I can't help but laugh at the absurdity of this plan. I sound like Atris. Should I fail to return, it will likely mean the end of my life. But my only real fear is for my people. Everyone assures me they have complete faith that I will accomplish my task and lead them to a better world. That's the fulfillment of the prophecy, after all. But underneath, they are just as tense and fearful as I am. What will become of them if I do not return? Will they perish here on Riven? Or attempt to follow me through this new book to an unknown fate? I don't know what to tell them. Against all odds, it is done. We have already evacuated most of our members to this new age, which the Moiti have named Tay. This world is more beautiful than I had anticipated, so I am pleased. The Rivenese have been liberated at last. They stand beneath the open sky, unafraid, dazzled by their freedom. They are happy. But there's still much to be done. This, the age is still vulnerable. The only way to completely protect it from Gan is to destroy the books once everyone is safe in Tay, safely in Tay. I'm hesitant to bring this up with the Moiti until they've had a chance to acclimate themselves to the new world, as it would mean they would be forever exiled from the only home they've ever known. Nor am I eager to sever my own connection and my only path back to my life and family on Mist. But for the greater good, it must be done. Um, I don't think she even knows right now, does she, about um, Atris and Akinar being trapped? I don't know. Uh, for the moment, we're safe, but our activities could arouse Gan's suspicions at any moment. We cannot delay. I will return to Riven tomorrow to resume my attempts to persuade the remaining holdouts to join the others in Tay. For now, though, I must rest. Now, here's our linking book. Back to Kavir. I choose to save the game. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not allowed to save the game here. Interesting. Wait, why not? I want to save here because... No, I still can't save. See? <laughs> I, I want to because I want to, like, see that ending. But of course, oh, you know what, hold on. I think I'll get another chance. Oh, they ling me out. Oh, this is new. Whoa. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, those are kind of like Dunny Goggles, sort of. Actually, very interesting, like... Anyway. Do they consider me to be special, too, in some way? Man, these guys are statues. Yeah, I mean, I always wanted to explore more of Tay, you know? So I'm, I'm glad that they have opened it up. I mean, I kind of expected that there would be a bit more, because I saw the release trailer that did show a brief clip that looked like it... Looks like my 
uh, freedom may be somewhat restricted here, but... Oh, this is Catherine. Or Katran. Oh. Yeah, Catherine was Rivenese. Um, she married Atris. Atris's family has got a lot of. <laughs> that's the uh, interesting. Got a lot of um, different races. Let me save here. So, um, I could delete these others. Uh, no. Anyway, let's let's do this. two achievements just now, one for the ending and one for quote unquote completing Riven. skip it. Credits are important. <laughs> you will not skip credits. Yeah. That's fine. Actually, I, I appreciate that it doesn't let me skip the credits, because it just kind of adds to the like... It, it lets it set in, sit in. Like, I know I purposely gave myself a bad ending. Um, but, you know, it kind of just... a lot of the sound, like the uh, voice recordings. Um, most of it is still old voice recordings. It's actually a decent sized team. I like how they have special things from all these different people.
What happens if I say continue? It's probably going to continue from where, you know, I last saved. Right. Okay. Let's continue. What are these weapons? If they're even weapons. I assume they are. I wonder how effective that would be. It, I mean... If it even is. Like a spinning blade. Or maybe it's not spinning. Maybe it's fixed. Looks like it might be spinning, but... Either way, it's an interesting design. Oh, okay. I wanted to check out the rest of the stuff, but... Seems like they control it from the outside, so... No, hold on, what if I want to go back? Let me back up. Oh, well, it's just another one of those gates that I can't cross. So that's fine. Yeah, so it's not like they really added much, but it just lets me walk, wander around. And decent amount of effort, you know. Well, I guess, like, it makes sense. Like, if you're gonna... The original game had a window you could look out and you could see stuff, right? If you're gonna have stuff that you can see, you might as well be able to explore it a little bit. You know, it's... Okay. So the book directly back. So you'll notice. So this is a linking book. Um, it's not a very thick book. But then if I look at this book, you can see how much thicker it is. Because this is a descriptive book. This is the book that quote-unquote created this age so it has to describe the book in as much detail as is required or is desired I suppose I don't know that much about how the art works but you know that's the idea there so linking books are just created as you know little portals or return tickets to the location at which they were written, I think. Maybe they can be done different with, differently and they can be linked to places that they were not created near, but anyway. This is that. Um, I have pretty much everything I need to complete the game, I think. Um, what we'll do right now, I think... I still haven't looked at this from... That's what it looks like, you know. Um, so I'm actually just gonna save here now. And I'm gonna use this book again. Because I'm an idiot. Or something.
but the game has a few endings. So, you know. Second show for Tia. Love you, Matt. I see you what? found the book. Thank you for returning okay. it to me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that didn't even line up with me. What the heck? I don't know where you got the brilliant idea to trap yourself, but I must tell you that I am quite disappointed that it is you and not Atrus who must now pay the price for this foolishness. I don't feel so good. Well, there's no possible. I don't think the scene was supposed to be that jank. <laughs> but oh no, I'm gonna have to watch the credits again, right? Or will it let me skip? I like page down, page up, or anything like that. Oh man. I mean, I could also force quit. Different music, so that's cool. Yeah, it's cool to, you know, get Robin involved again. Um, I don't know what meta means. Do they mean meta as in the company? I think that probably is what they mean, actually. Coordination for VR or something, maybe. to Robin's music. So there's so much, well that's the original one, but still like, there's so many little things that I've not seen, but it's hard to see everything that there is in the game, like every little, because like I've had like one NPC encounter, if we don't count, like you know, the things are easier to get, like the one thing where we saw Gan Scribe, there are a lot of other things if you just approach things at the right time and from the right direction. Supposedly. I don't know how much is in this version of the game, but... Yeah. yeah. Righty! Let's... Find another way to lose. Actually, I can't think what other ways are there. I know what we're doing now, though. We're going to go to 233. And we're going to do it the cool way, I think. I kind of already remember, but let's pretend that we don't know. Ah, wanted to click on it, but instead I just zoomed into it. As long as you do it like vaguely at the same time, just that 
shape passing and it's like, yeah, good enough. happen if I use the prison book while in the moiety caves would I get the Gan ending or would I get the moiety ending you know I'm, I'm not sure oh, why am I here I know why because I was just following natural instinct you just follow the path no, I gotta go back down. Alright, so... Water pole, right? That's green, yes. Okay. That's that right there. Pretty short trip. dark. I, silly, I know, but being in the dark made me want to... No, where was it? Yeah, made me want to go a step darker. Oh, that was silent. We interrupted the sound file. All right. Funny how little supports we use for things. All right. Oh yes, I have to do this again. Just a few pushes. I'm sure it won't let me push the button while I'm standing in it. Interesting. I should have been a play tester. Okay, I imagine if I push that, then it'll actually do something. So instead, I'm just going to push it from here. Yeah. Actually, you know what's interesting is... I guarantee you, like, they did test this. I guarantee you they tested this. And they're like... Let's not overcomplicate things. Let's just make it so that if they're inside the room, you press the button. Nothing happens, you know? So it's it's a very... It's, it's one way of going about it. They could have made it so that if I'm standing, you know, over here, then I can't push it. But instead, it was just made so that 
Well, if you, you know. Anyway. Yeah. It works. I, I, I don't know what I like better. Like, would I prefer that I just wasn't allowed to push it? Or do I like that it lets me push it, but it doesn't move? Um, yeah, it's, so this, this, like, maybe we could explain this as saying that it's, somehow the entire room is pressure sensitive. I don't know, that's a little bit of a stretch. And I don't think it's a very good explanation, really. like Riven to be super like consistent and realistic and enter everything but like it's still just a game this running. Can I like... No, it's not gonna, not even gonna turn off. Fine. We just like go until the fire marbles are completely burnt. The, okay, this is totally a incorrect design because um, if anyone gets here, like you, you, if this is your one way to visit 233, you know, like you're just leaving a door open behind you. So, like, eh. you see how the particles pulled towards the panel. Interesting. Well done. I was greatly relieved when I received word that you had recovered the book. I don't quite know how you managed it, but if I may. Now. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I actually can't move around right now. I can only look. Also confined to this space, which is interesting. Yeah, see... He's, I guess he's inspecting it to make sure that it's actually Kavir. I don't think he's suspecting that it's, like, broken, you know? But, that, like, he's like, is this just, like, I don't know. I don't know what to think, actually. You know, as far as, like, what's going through his mind. But he's wise to be so hesitant. Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. Right. Now, I know that, like, we can actually... Oh. I took too long. You may need some time to decide. That is reasonable. Please understand, there is nothing I want more than a chance to resolve matters between Atris and myself. Especially in light of what has become of Catherine. 
But unless you are willing to demonstrate to me that your intentions are honorable, I cannot risk it. The sanctuary I've been writing for the islanders is nearly complete. After all these years, it would be a shame if I were unable to finish it. The work I am doing is quite demanding. Please yes. don't signal me unless you've decided to use the book. Right. Understood. You know what we're gonna do, right? Oh, what the... What? Well, that was interesting. Wait, how do I get that to happen again? Maybe I can. Hold on. Um, how do I signal him? I guess by showing up. Because I can't. I think it used to be there was actually like a call button to alert him of my presence, but I don't think that's the case here. Instead, I guess it's just me and the book. I guess. Go the way of tram this time. Oh, wait a minute, we can't. Wait, we can. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think here. Now there wasn't a tram, right? It was just this. It was just this bridge. This goes out to there. Yeah, there is no maglev to this place. It's not quite rotated towards me. Maybe it's not able to. Yeah, um... Okay. that anyway wait why did I come in here I could do that, and then no, that's even long. That's an even longer trip. No, let's just go this way. I was pushing the button for where I wanted to go, not where... Not where I am. If only, right? I 
as the, the uh, logic goes, if we used to be patient enough to switch kids to see if we were patient enough to make this. five discs, of course five, and um, every island used a different disc, if I remember correctly. I don't remember which discs were used for Tay in 233, but that was the idea. Let's see. Just go back. It would be much less cool if it didn't remember the orientation of that thing. You know, if it was like always in the same position. Time to think about it, Can I'm ready to... I don't know why, like, you know, if it's not a trap, like, why would I even need time to, like, prove that the book is, you know, like, what? I don't even know, man. But that's how it always was. That's how it was in the old game. Okay. Menu is currently inaccessible. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'm relieved you've returned. I thought perhaps you had decided against it. Here, I shall follow you directly. Okay. Please. You're free to go, but I 
I think you should not come back unless you are willing to use the book. You think? Yes. Yes. Very simply, we should. He is a busy man. We should not bother him. It used to be that you would see him walk, like up here, like there's like a pathway going down, right? So you'd see him. But at least the times that I have been watching, I haven't ever seen that. Um, no, we'll save right before arriving. Let's see if we can pick the shortest possible route this time. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what that would be. But having to go through the f firmament, or the, sorry, the fissure, the expanse, um, and then having to rotate the gate room, like that is a lot. So probably if we just go the other kind of long way, Um, it might actually be faster. Surely there's a call button somewhere, right? I think there used to be. Oh, ah, there it is. The layout of this is a bit different than it used to be. Oh man, how long does it take to come back though, you know? Nice. It takes the accurate amount of time. Very nice. That's cool. Really, I do appreciate that. Like, it's... supposed to be trying to go fast. So. It kind of seems like this whole thing is about the same amount of time in both directions, really. Oh, I remember when, like, the call button for this maglev was, like, back in the cave instead of right here where you would expect it to be. 
Saying that I remembered a few things from playing the game before is an understatement. safe before doing this. I don't actually know if the game would allow me, like if it actually does have like an auto save before death. I don't, I don't know. Kind of don't want to test that. Maybe I should, I don't know. 